What's up guys, this is Sim with Vengeance and I'm back here with another Madden NFL 17 Detroit Lions franchise and today the Lions are at home once again, 4-2 and two on the season, taking on the Washington Redskins who are 1-5. and five. And if you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you guys drop a like and if you're new to this channel at all, hit that subscribe button down below. And a uh, little thing about the Washington Redskins, they've been struggling this season and you're about to see here in a minute why I honestly believe why they're struggling outside of who I think Kirk Cousins is the most overrated quarterback in the league. My opinion, don't at me. Anyway, um, there's a lot of problems with the Redskins just due to the fact that they're 1-5. Obviously, you know, if they were completely healthy, they may be mediocre at best, considering how tough a division they play in. Uh, the NFC East is like a gauntlet. Like, there's a different winner every year, and it's crazy. Um, you got the Giants in there who always seem to sneak in at the end of the year. The Eagles are also decent, and the Cowboys are pretty much a clear-cut favorite to win that division. Um, but the Redskins, they're they're all right, but they're not anywhere near as good as contenders as they claim to be. I don't think Jay Gruden's that really good of a head coach. Um, I don't think Kirk Cousins is that great of a quarterback. And don't get me wrong, their defense is all right, but like I said, we're about to see here why the Redskins are one in five, and. Um, we take a look at the injury report. This is where the Redskins are losing their money. Um, you got like Matt Jones, their running back, out with an, a broken thumb. You got Sharef, one of the offensive linemen, out. You got Junior Gillette, out, I left outside linebacker, out for an Achilles tear. Uh, you got Moses out for a quad tear. You got Daniels out with a rotator cuff injury. You got Ziggy Hood, right end, dislocated knee. You got Baker who's a right end foot fracture and you got the Sean Jackson who's also out so they got a lot of injuries on this list well, some of them key players you know that, that really hurts a team and that's a good explanation why the Redskins are one in five uh, outside of the fact that I don't think that Kirk Cousins is a good quarterback um, but that's just my opinion like I said I have my opinions you guys have yours um, I don't think that you know uh, he's a good quarterback. Don't get me wrong. I think he's good, but he's way too overhyped because he took the Redskins to a, the playoffs last year because of the 9-7 and team. He took a 9-7 and team to the playoffs only because the Cowboys had injury problems last year. Just saying. My opinion again, don't have to get all mad. Um, but you take a look at the standings, of course. You see the Titans and Jaguars are still undefeated. Something's got to give, yo. Like this is These are the two teams that you would think that are the least expected to go undefeated, but yeah, they're they're running the table so far. Uh, you see, we're leading the North at four and two, but I probably wouldn't expect that to last very long uh, because the Packers are just they're going to catch fire one way or another. Uh, you see, the Panthers at leading the South at four and two, the Cowboys are four and two, and the Eagles are only half a game behind them at three and two, considering the bye week and everything. Uh, the Seahawks are four and one. The San Francisco 49ers are zero oh and six, only averaging ten points a game, giving up over thirty. They're getting blown out every game. Oi. Feel bad for the Niners, man. They kind of just they just kind of suck. Sucks to suck to be them. I don't know. But we're going to get on with this game against the Washington Redskins here. And like I said, this is a very imbalanced game because of the fact that the Redskins are just injury riddled. Deshaun Jackson's the biggest piece on that offensive side, and he is out. And a lot of the players are out for the Redskins. And this could be ugly. Just saying. Because of all the injuries, you know, you never know what's going to happen. They still have Josh Norman, one of the elite corners of the league. Um, I kind of wish he would have stayed in Carolina. But anyway, um, this should be a good game. Hopefully, um, we can actually start not winning, like, the close games. You know, we won a lot of close games lately. Hopefully, we can get one of these games where we could just kind of kick back, relax, and start playing good old Lion football and not, you know, have these heart-stopping heart games. You see Golden Tate here taking this one at the goal line. He's going to take it out to the 10, the 15, to the 20, 24. They're going to mark him down at the 23, actually. But here comes Matthew Stafford. who's had a pretty decent year so far. Only uh, seven interceptions, 10 touchdowns, 1,700 yards passing on 73% completion percentage. Pretty good season outside of the touchdown interception ratio. Um, but we expect him to have a pretty, pretty big game today. So third down and three here. We are going to drop back to pass with Stafford. Stafford looks underneath to Pettigrew, and Pettigrew gets the first down. 
getting a four yard pickup just enough to move the chains I'll take it any day of the week so second down and five at the 39 Stafford in the shotgun and here we go Stafford dropping back looking left side it's caught by Jeremy Curley and Jeremy Curley's gonna take this one to the house touchdown Detroit Lions and that makes it a seven or actually well I'm an idiot and I don't mean this in any ill will against Matt Prater I know you guys have given me crap about Matt Prater may, uh, not taking that 57 yard field goal but the new kicking system kind of sucks and uh, I missed the extra point so here comes Kirk Cousins who I think is one of the most overhyped quarterbacks in the league his stats kind of reflect that six t six touchdowns five interceptions 1600 yards passing good 66 percent completion percentage is also pretty good but the touchdown interception ratio is also kind of meh but you see right here they're gonna try and go underneath on third down to get that first down but they're not gonna get it too much to pick up right there and the defense swarms into the ball and the Lions get the ball back so it's first down and 10 we're gonna hand off to Abdullah takes it left side and he's gonna get a first down on the play look at that four carries for, uh, for 24 yards averaging six yards a carry and we get enough room for the first down. So a couple plays later on second and 13. And from the 10, Stafford again looking left side to Jeremy Curley. And Jeremy Curley is off again. 90-yard touchdown. Good luck catching him. That's a touchdown. 90 yards. It's now 13-0. Jeremy Curley again. Not once, but twice on that same pattern. He get, they get burned for a touchdown. It's now 13-0. This time they're going to hand it off to Thompson. And I, it didn't look like he got the first down at first, but they're going to give it to him anyway. So here goes. Third down and 10 here. 134 left remaining in the first quarter. Cousins in the shotgun with Reed and uh, Thompson in the backfield. They're going to do a play action. Looking over the middle. It's going to be caught by Crowder. First down, Washington Redskins. Cousins, two for three for 38 yards. Doing all right so far in the first quarter, but let's see how he plans out the rest of the game. His game plan has not really been that effective. They're going to hand it off to Thompson, and Thompson getting the first down, making a couple guys miss. Here comes Slay to get the stop here at the 13-yard line. Now they're well within field goal range, but later on, first and 10. Let's see if they can try and finish this one off. As Cousins in the single back formation, dropping back to pass. He's got no time to run, and he has, here comes Ansa with all the answers to the test. And... Uh, making himself feel known on the defensive side third and 22 here as uh cousins in the shotgun again trying to pick up that first down cousins drops back looking left side caught by reed but he not he can't hold on he looked like he had it for a second honestly he looked like he had it but this is going to be from about 43 yards out for the washington kicker and the kick is up and it is good so it's now 13-3 Good for them. They finally got on the board. They don't officially suck. Because if you get shot up by the Lions, I'm sorry. If I ever shot out an opponent, there must be something wrong. But anyway, we get it off to Ebron on this play to the 40-yard line. Stafford, 5 for 5 for 169 and two touchdown passes. Just Jeremy Curley. That's all that needs to be said. Third down and inches. Stafford again. Looks. Has time over the right, right side, but it's going to be incomplete as the Redskins get the ball back. Third down and 11 here for the Skins at the 47. Let's see if they can get that first down and keep themselves alive. Cousins drops back, looking over the middle, but it's going to be dropped again. Cousins two for six, proving to me that he is overrated. Second down and seven. Stafford looking left. Oh, my God, Jeremy Curley, you need to stop it. He needs to stop it, ladies and gentlemen. Look at what he is doing to this poor Washington defense. My lord, ladies and gentlemen. This is this is inhumane. Second down and 10 from the 20. Stafford. This route is just broken, I swear. Look at that. He would have gotten a touchdown if he would have stayed in bounds. Just saying. Curly, four catches, 173 yards of yak. 173 yards yak. That is unheard of. First and goal from the four. Sweep right to Abdullah. And Abdullah gets his touchdown. And it makes it 20-3. to three. And man, oh man. This game's getting ugly. <laughs> we need one of those games, though, where we need to show the world where we can actually play some really good football on both sides of the ball. Because that's what we've been doing this whole game. It's really cool. So Cousins, again, pressure's on him, and he throws it away. Cousins continuing to struggle. 
two for seven. Put the pressure on Cousins. He flat out sucks under pressure. Then again, name a quarterback that's good under pressure like that, and I don't know. You might find yourself a golden. You may have won the lottery at that one. But Jeremy Curley, stop it. Stop it, Jeremy. Stop it. You need to stop. He is going to find himself in the end zone for the third time this game. Third time this half. He is unstoppable. Jeremy Curley. Wow. That's all I can think is just wow. What is Jeremy Curley doing to this poor defense? Cousins, again, dropping back. Continuing to do Kirk Cousins type things. He does get a good pass off here, though. And now he's over 50% completion percentage. That's good for him. But, I mean, his team's still down 27-3. to uh, So, let's see what they could do. Cousins looks over to the right side. We try to put the blitz on him, but it's off to Reed for the touchdown. Ooh, they got a touchdown. Oh, my goodness. Stop the presses, people. We are losing it. We're going to blow the lead. Here comes the Redskins on third and six. Cousins with the play action. And he's going to get taken down as he's hit by Ansa. Man, he's got all the answers today. I'm just saying. But here's where I done goofed. I done goofed right here. I I don't know why I did this, but I done goofed. Here's way with the punt. A really good punt for the as a matter of fact. But I was like, you know what? I know it's going to be that kind of punt, but I done goofed. I done goofed, and that's a safety. So you can laugh at me all they want in the comments. I done goofed. Hashtag, hashtag it. I done goofed. Or sin done goofed. But uh, it's 27-12. Does this give the Redskins any sort of momentum, though? Uh, we'll see. As they're going to try and get a play action. As Levy takes him down for the sack. It looked like a weird, awkward position for the sack. But he gets it nonetheless. His cousin's continuing to prove to me why he's the most overrated quarterback in the league. So, uh, we do get another failed third down conversion right there. No biggie. We're still up by 15 points here late in the third quarter. I'm not too concerned. Third down and 17 here. Stat or Cousins looking underneath, but he throws it over Thompson's head. As Cousins just doing Cousin things. I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell you. So, Stafford again looking. Oh, my God. Jeremy. Jeremy. Freaking Curly. Oh, my goodness. Somebody get the... Oh, my God. He is breaking records. Now, he, is, he hasn't even broken the Lions record. He's third highest... In NFL history, for receiving yards in a game, only second on the team. Calvin Johnson did it back in 2013, where he had like 326 yards receiving in one game. Jeremy Curley had 324 today. That's how good he was. It's 34 to 12. But as we show right here, Kirk Cousins can't have his receivers catch the ball. And uh, there's going to be fourth down to nine here with five minutes to go here. Cousins handing it off. I have no idea why the run game has been piss poor the entire game and they continue to run the ball. I don't know why. I don't get it. I don't. So here we go. Stafford looking right side and it's intercepted by Josh Norman as that route on the right side continues to prove that, you know, this game isn't completely broken on my side. But fourth down and six here. Can they get something going here to try and at least show the world that they're not, the Redskins aren't terrible? As they're looking over the middle, but it's intercepted by Cravens and Kirk Cousins. Just, just boo. Boo, man. Boo. Get off my field. You don't belong. <laughs> Third down and five. Stafford looking underneath, trying to find something. And he gets it off, but it's not a first down. Pettigrew, you got to keep your balance, man. Uh, but now here comes the Redskins. They do get the touchdown on that one, but they're trying to go for the two-point conversion. I'm not obviously not a fan, but this is just kind of the day that the, Red, the Redskins have been having with Kirk Cousins. As uh, you see Cousins trying to fight for his life, but he gets nailed once again. He is just getting ruined out there. As the Redskins fall to 1-6 and six and take a beating from the Lions. Final score, 34-18. to 18. Just not a good day for Kirk Cousins and the crew. As the Lions move up to 5-2 and two on the season and continue to play some good football. This time it wasn't a nail-biter. But I think you guys will love the fact that we actually took it to our opponents today on both sides of the ball and did what we pretty much wanted to do. And Jeremy Curley, man, props to him. And that's the touchdown that they got earlier from Garcon. But anyway, Jeremy Curley, obviously your player of the game. He just... He balled out today, man. 
Hashtag Jeremy Curley for MVP or something like that. He's just killing it. I might have to move him up in the uh, depth chart when Marvin Jones comes back. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like. And if you're new to the channel at all, hit that subscribe button down below. But until next time, my name is Sin with Vengeance, and I'm out. Peace.